Hey folks, hope you're doing good. First off, I want to thank everybody for that raffle deal. That worked out perfect. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. Now, I want to show you. I've been getting some emails and stuff about questions about the, the western bit that we introduced a month or so ago. So I got to clear some things up because there's com confusion, I guess. First thing you got to know is I rode the bit in about probably, I think, eight horses before I went public with it to check it out, all different size horses. And it was just fine. So it's a western bit for riding western. Now the point of the bit is, is give the people an option of being able to ride western for real. In other words, they've had a snaffle bit forever, or they got some piece of junk from the feed store and they want a nice bit and the slicers got out of hand thanks to us but uh, anyway I just want people to be able to ride western instead of and ride western in the western bit so now this is an uh, this is a spade bit okay now what I'm going to talk about is a loose jaw well, this bit is about 45 years old. I bought it new down there in Descanso. So if you can see the cheek, it's wore out. Okay, it's been wore out for quite a while. Okay, the downside of a, of a bit wearing out is that they'll, this part right here will pinch a horse. So if you're cheap like I am, what I did was I shimmed it with bend wire and spun it down. And it helped me get a little bit of that space taken care of because these these get too much sloppy. Well, that's because they're wore out. This is Chinaco's bit. It's a spade bit. Okay, he'll never ever have any other bit in his mouth like the Western bit or my missing link snaffle. He's never had that in his mouth. His entire career has been a halter, hackamore, and now this spade bit. Now this is a loose jaw bit. Okay, it's new. So you can see that it's a loose jaw, but it's nothing compared to this one that's absolutely shot. So just for the sake of knowing, be careful folks when you wear these out to make sure you're not pinching your horse's mouth. But that's a California spade bit. That's what Chinaco does. That's the passion of my life is to make a nice bridal horse. And that's the bit. All right, this is a half breed, a San Joaquin mouth, half breed mouthpiece. San Joaquin tongue release, half breed mouthpiece. This is a loose jaw bit. It's new. This is what is traditionally, from what I've seen in my career, there's more people in that like the California style that have nice silver bits this is the tri this is more of the straight bar half breed or this half breed not spades there's more of these out there than there are these well and there's a reason for that but it doesn't matter so just understand that this is a a if you want a fancy nice silver bit you can go to D bar M in Reno and talk to Jack and he's got a whole wall full of them Okay, part of the reason why I made my western bit is because there's a lot of people that don't want and or need a silver bit. They just want a bit to go get the mail with. Working stiffs, trail riders, whatever. This is more of a California style. So that's where you get the silver bits and of course you can order them. Now if you order a, a silver bit on the internet, something that I've learned, is that make sure and tell them to weigh it. And if it doesn't weigh more than a pound and a half, uh, be careful because there's a lot of cheap knockoffs out there. Now this is the western bit. Okay, now some, here's the big part I want you to see. This is a loose jawed bit. This is a loose jawed bit. It's just made different. So it in fact is, it's not a solid bit. Some people think it is, but it's not. So you can still cue a horse. And for those of you that don't know, the reason I want a loose jawed bit is because when I'm outside riding in the hills and the horse is moving up and down, 
this part is moving instead of the whole bit moving. And then when you pick it up, when you start to make a horse towards a bridle horse like these, when you pick up the reins, the chains, it's a pre-signal to the horse to let them know you're coming. So this is a polite way to, to ride a horse is a loose jawed bit in the western bit. So that's what this is. Okay. What I'm going to do is put the put this bit on the black horse and then I'm going to put this bit on the black horse. And I want to show you that there's no difference. It's just a matter of what you want to ride in. Now these bits here, the California Discipline, the goal is lightness and riding off your skeleton. Okay, this is a western bit. The main reason I think that people will want it is because it's safe, it has a curb strap, and when you pull back you can stop your horse. That's a big part of the reason why I came up with these. It's a safe, nice, safe bit to go ride in. And it's got the weight so that a horse will respect it. In other words, they'll carry it and balance it. These aluminum bits you used to see on dude ranches, it was because of dudes. And the horse would just flip his head up in the air and flip the bit over. So, anyway. Now, if a person rides well, they can turn that bit into a signal easier than a low port, right? That's right. Any, any of these bits you can make a signal. In other words, you pick up the reins and the horse goes into collection. Okay. Well, the lady I was talking to in Virginia shared with me that she had quarter horses, so she was afraid this wasn't going to work. Well, I think she had it in her mind that this is what Chinaco carries because she saw how high-headed he is. That's on purpose. That's an Iberian horse. They're designed to be up in the air. I want that. Okay, if you got a regular saddle horse, like a quarter horse or anything else, and they don't have their coming straight up out of the withers, this works. That's what I rode it in. This has never been on Chinaco. This is designed for quarter horses and Arab, Morgan, whatever kind of horse you ride. It's a, very it's a generic Western bit, that's all it is. Okay, now this is this half-breed San Joaquin Mouth silver bit. 
So if I want to back this horse up, and I'm, I'm watching for the vertebrae here. That's what we call bridling up. Okay, if I want to school him on turning, it's a loose jawed bit, and he's young, and I can take my hand and go like this. You maybe can see that left cheek piece move. It's very subtle, but it helps you school a horse is what it's for. So I can ride flat-handed and school him, or I can ride straight up and ride him, and that's, that's your silver bit. So let me go get on the other bit. If you wanted to school a horse in a bit, and they've never been in one, which I'll show you in the next bit also, if you'll watch, when I pick up on this bit, the contact is right there. Okay. If I keep my hand nice and low, and I make contact, I can walk this horse backwards. Okay, I'll stay low, and he'll bridle up. Right there. So, uh, all we're doing is showing you what a bit does. And what I'm hoping is that it gets rid of some of the confusion. Western bit, I want one finger diagonally pushing on the jawbone so that when I pull back on the reins, I don't turn the bit over in the horse's mouth. That's the way I like to set up the, the bit. Now when you look at the width of this bit, for me, that's how I want a bit to fit on a horse. This is the rein straight up. So I'm gonna back him up. And there's your bridled up horse in the western bit. Okay, now I'm gonna back him up with a flat hand. And understand it's a curb strap that makes a bit work, a western bit. So now with the flat hand, I'm gonna ask him to back up. And if you watch the Horse bridle up, right there, that's him bridled up. Okay, this is so that you can help him turn left or right. Anyway, folks, I hope this makes sense. I didn't want to waste your time, but I had to clarify some things with the video. This western bit is made for western horses. Okay, if you live in the east, you can still ride western. What else am I forgetting? The, the, the way I set up this cheek piece is so that the horse will break at the withers. That's the way I want the curve of the cheek. And that's what helps all these western horses break at the withers and lift up. So you're saying... So. Anyway, I hope you I hope this makes sense. You got any questions, feel free to ask. But that's a Western riding bit, so you can ride one-handed, use your skeleton, rope, or wave to the crowd. Thank you. Get the mail.